Ah, well, good evening. I am Deadward the Vampire. Welcome to my home. Firstly, I'd like to break the ice with a little joke. Okay, here goes. <clears throat> what restaurant will you never see a vampire eating at? A steakhouse. <laughs> okay, now that the ice has been broken, let us talk about what we have on our platters. Today, we will be reviewing Blood Kin by the Southern Fried Scrivener himself, Ronald Kelly. I shall first read the synopsis, and then Spooky Noodles will delve into the book. So, without further ado, here is the synopsis. Oh wait, I left it in the graveyard. Follow me. <laughs> ah, okay, so that was a little more ado. But now, without further ado, here is the synopsis. Josiah Craven had been all but forgotten for nearly a hundred years. To his descendants, he was nothing more than an imposing image in an old tintype photograph and the subject of stories told in hushed tones before the fireplace at night. A traveling mountain preacher who had returned from his wanderings and died by mysterious circumstances, buried in an unmarked grave with a wooden stake through his heart. Ooh. Dudley Craven had heard the tales, but never believed them until his plow unearthed an ancient coffin in the center of a lonesome mountain pasture. Now Josiah is back, ha <laughs> ha, and his true nature has been revealed. Hungering for the blood and obedience of his kin, he roams the Appalachian Mountains with only one purpose in mind, to initiate his family into a dark church of the damned. Ha <laughs> ha ha, sounds pretty good. Only a trio of unlikely foes summoned the courage to bring Josiah's ungodly mission to an end. Oh no. An alcoholic carpenter who will do anything to save his wife and children. A timid preacher's wife with a love of horror literature and film. And the knowledge to defeat the undead. And a moonshine making mountain man who once encountered a similar evil in the dark tunnels beneath the jungles of Vietnam. Together, they will ascend the peak of Craven's Mountain to do battle with Josiah Craven and his Congregation of the Living Dead. Ah, uh, doesn't that sound interesting? I know who I am rooting for. <laughs> now I shall allow Nicholas to give you his thoughts on the book. Again, I am Dead World the Vampire. I hope you have a fantastic day. <laughs> so you just saw uh, Dead World the Vampire read the synopsis for Bloodkin by Ronald Kelly. All right, so it's now my turn to tell you what I thought of the book and... Yeah, I'm not going to do as fantastic job as Deadward did, but uh, yeah, I'll give it my best. So here we go. <laughs> uh, I'm going to read my written review now, and then we will delve into it a little bit, I guess. So here we go. This book was fantastic. Yes, I said fantastic. I'm no stranger to Mr. Kelly's work, reading two novels prior, Fear and Father's Little Helper, a.k.a. 12 Gauge, and a short story collection, Mr. Glowbones and Other Halloween Tales, prior to Bloodkin. And I'm just as impressed by this book than I, that, which, than I was, I cannot read my own writing, than I was with this other stuff I read. Bloodkin is an amazing vampire story which made me fall in love with its characters, intrigued me with its fun plot, and packed 
an action-filled ending that I won't re forget. <laughs> well, I almost said regret. Uh, I won't forget anytime soon. If I were ranking RK's books, horror books, that I've read so far, this would definitely be in second place just behind my favorite book of all time, Fear. So yeah, this was a great story. I think if you decide to pick it up, just know you are starting a phenomenal read. Five stars for this one, and it was well earned. And yes, it was well earned indeed. Oh, holy crap, guys. This book is just phenomenal. Uh, so Josiah Craven, great villain. Then you had Wesley Craven, who was also a, a, like a side plot villain, who was really good. Um, I just loved the themes of this book. I love the old time horror that was put into the Southern fried horror story. Um, I There was so many sad scenes. There were so many action-packed scenes. There were so many great scenes. Uh, this book is just packed with... This This would make an amazing movie, guys. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Hollywood, get on this. Because, like, I need to see this movie in action, man. Just amazing, amazing plot. Amazing characters. I... I it was easy to read, you know, which is, is hard to do for some authors because some authors like really make things challenging with putting in like complex stuff in their stories. You know, I would know, I wouldn't know because I don't write anything complex like that. But, um, yeah, when people talk about their favorite vampire stories, I hear two stories said before, well, this one, obviously, and, uh, that would be Dracula by Bram, Bram Stoker. And then you have Stephen King's Salem's Lot. I've never read Dracula by Bram Stoker, but I've attempted to read Salem's Lot. And I got to say, from my honest opinion, this book is a ton better than Salem's Lot. It's, characters are better. The uh, I mean, you have an average working Joe as the... Uh, as the main protagonist and uh he is just phenomenal to read with you you're rooting for him the whole time you know you don't let, dislike this guy like he has his faults you know he's an alcoholic and his children i, I mean he's a fun drunk but it doesn't matter it, a drunk is a drunk and uh you can't have that in your family so he's trying to like he's trying to make amends and get past it and be sober so for his family's sake, so he can get back to his love life with his wife and be with his children. And you're just rooting for him the whole time. Like, he is a great character. Boyd, by the way, that's his name. Um, then you have Caleb, who's an amazing character as well. I loved him. He was probably my, one of my favorite characters of the story if it wasn't for Boyd. So, yeah, this story was fantastic. Or should I say fantastic? I enjoyed every single moment of this story, and I gotta say, this might be one of those that I reread in the future. So, that's all I have to say for this book. Um, I know, very short review, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed nevertheless. Um, I also have one more thing to say, but I will leave that in the next clip. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night, and roll on to the next clip. Okay, guys, so if you are still watching after the outro, I just want to say that this is me uh, basically saying that I will be doing another giveaway. I know what you guys are probably going to be saying. What about the old giveaway? That one's coming in the next, actually it might happen today. Um, I'm going to be doing that soon. Um, but the giveaway I'm about to introduce to you today is Ronald Kelly themed. And that is, I will be giving away a signed copy of Fear by Ronald Kelly, which is my favorite book of all time. It's the best coming of age story I've ever read. So you definitely want to be a part of this. So if you want to be part of the signed giveaway for Fear by Ronald Kelly, just comment below this video and say, you know, great review and blah, 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 whatever you want to say, and then say something like, I want to be entered in the giveaway. So yeah, just leave your comments below and I will see you in the next video. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the review and the special stuff I did for it. I don't have the copy of Fear on me right now, but it's the newer copy and it's signed by Ro Mr. Ronald Kelly. Um, it's amazing and you will enjoy it, I promise. So that's all I have to say for you guys today. I hope you guys are having a great day and I already said the outro, so peace out guys.